keeping this covenant Man's had enough of it Trust me my people are suffering Every day The sin that we smothered them uh, It seems like we loving it Do we? Cause we never stopping it Come your shot Come your shot Come your shot Come your shot If you wanna know who we are We're running at Who these loud people are That's standing on these streets We are the 12 tribes of Israel That are scattered to the four corners of the earth We come to let you know that the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans and Seminole Indians scattered to the four corners of the earth is come because there's a restoration for you. Christ, who this world calls Jesus, in Hebrew his name is called Yahweh Shai, he is our Lord and Savior and none else. And we want to show you that he's an austere man that is coming to destroy this place and redeem his people. Give me the book of Revelation chapter 19 and verse 11. Give me the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Bring up. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. Yeah. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Right. And in righteousness doth he, he judge and make war. In righteousness he what? Doth yeah. he judge, judge and, and make war. In righteousness he what? Doth he, he judge, judge and, and make war. He's not coming for peace. I don't see that in the Bible. Oh, actually, go, go to Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Yes, big man, you're good? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. You're Christian or? Yeah, yeah. I don't want it's not smoke, bro. I just want to encourage you. What country are you from? What, 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 okay, what country are you from? You see that? Uh, bring, 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 bring that out. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Ah, uh, we got? Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Yeah. Think not that I come to set peace. Wait, 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 wait. When Jesus comes, he's coming to bless everyone and give roses and confetti. Think, Think not, not that, that I have come, come to set peace. peace. Oh. So, so what's, your, what's our Lord and Savior come to do? I come not to set peace, but, but a sword. sword. But a hug. But, but a sword. sword. But teddy bears. But a sword. What's going on, family? How you like doing? Hey, what country, bro? Where? Colombia. What do you say? Colombia, hey, wait, 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 wait. Did you know that the Colombians are called Asher in the Bible? Do you know that the Bible is not a his is not a religious book? It's a history book of your forefathers. Did you know that? You didn't know that? Ah, uh, come, let's talk. You see that? Ah, uh, read that. Come. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. D hey, listen. There's even going to be division in the household. Read that. And the daughter against her mother. Alright, read, read what you got. It's the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 6 verse 17. Six verse 17. Yeah. Wherefore, come out from among them. Now stay in the church. Come, come out, out from, from among, among them. them. No, just stay at home. Come, come out, out from, from among, among them. them. No, just follow the Christian pastor. Come, come out, out from, from among them. them. Read. And be ye separate, saith the Lord. Be their friend. Be ye separate, saith the Lord. Follow the doctrine of church. Be ye separate, saith the Lord. He said, be ye separate, said the Lord. Not said by the Ka'akuma, not by the Kapash, said the Lord. Right? The Most High God says, be ye separate, said the Lord. That's what holiness is. Read. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Go to the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. And this is what we come to tell everyone. And you go to Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. It said, come out from among them, be separate, said the Lord. We can't be like everyone. There's no old people come together. There's no God loves everyone. Let's all come together. Only the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and Seminole Indians that are scattered to the four corners of the earth. Yahusha, our Lord and Savior, is coming to redeem you. Right. Who, Second Corinthians chapter, Salakia. Second Chronicles chapter seven and verse fourteen. Read. If my people, if all people, if, if my, my people, people, if some people, if, if my, my people, people read. are which are called by my name and we know that as according to isaiah 45 verse 4 we can see that the children of israel are the elect the children of israel are the negroes those are the descendants of split slaves the negroes and hispanics and native americans are the people of the most high god no one else we right. shall humble themselves and pray shall humble themselves and this is what we see amongst our community we see a lot of negroes and hispanics what country from bro yeah Pakistan. We see a lot of pride amongst Negroes and Hispanics. This is what we see where everyone thinks that they know something. Everyone, everyone, everyone wants to try and carry on and act a certain way. 
think that they are fine, but he said you need to humble yourselves and pray and seek my face and seek his hand and seek my face. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm good by how I am. And seek my face. Right. And turn from their wicked ways. And this is the issue with Negroes and Hispanic people. We don't know how to turn. How you doing, bro? You good? Brothers, you good? Sister, you good? No, don't worry, don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. No worries. Turn from them wicked ways. Read. Then will I hear from heaven yeah. and will forgive their sin yeah. and will heal their land. And will what? And, and will, will heal, heal their, their land. The land. Our people. Go, and then go to, go to it. No, Luke chapter 21 verse 24. Our people will be healed. In Brixton, look how much killing and destruction there is. There's churches in every ghetto, every hood, at all the ends, there's churches everywhere. But we still have killings. We still have foolishness amongst our community. We're still dominating the prison systems. We are still whoring out our women, not disrespecting our, not respecting our women, and not actually looking after our families. This is evil! But we can be restored when we come back and submit ourselves to the words of Yahweh. But show my shack, woman like y'all shine. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Go on. Wisdom crieth without, yeah. she uttereth her voice in the streets. Go to, actually, find that. Go to Luke chapter 7, at 7 and 4. Yeah, read that again. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Yeah. Wisdom crieth without, yeah. she uttereth her voice in the street. She uttereth her voice in the living room. She uttereth her voice in the street. She uttereth her voice on YouTube. She uttereth her voice in the street. She uttereth her voice in church. She uttereth her voice in the street. This is where you're going to hear knowledge, wisdom, and understanding out on the streets where the men of the Lord are preaching the word of God. Nothing else. There is no book that compares to the scriptures of the Holy Bible. And this Bible is not a religious book. Go, actually, go to. Actually, read that again. Read that again. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Yeah. Wisdom crieth without, yeah. she uttereth her voice in the streets. Yeah. She crieth in the chief place of Concord. And this is what we're doing, crying in the chief place of Concord, where everyone thinks it's fine. Everyone is okay living the way it is because a little sun come out, everyone feels like they want our skin on. This is where we're at now, with our people. Our people. This is who we care about. We. This is Acts chapter 7 and verse 48. Because we just read that wisdom is not in the buildings. Wisdom is out on the streets. That's why we are out on the streets. Right. How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. The Lord is not in these churches. If they're not taking... Actually, go to Sirach chapter 17 and verse 11. If your, if your church is not teaching you to keep the law, the statutes and commandments, uh, and, and no, tell you that you're the children of Israel and faith in Christ, not just faith, not just faith alone, faith and and Christ, create faith in Christ and keeping the commandments, you're gonna be destroyed. I, I'm, I'm gonna say it straight, right? Read. Sirach 17 and verse 11. Read. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. And the what? And the law of life for inheritance. What did the Lord say? And the law of life for inheritance. This Bible is not a religious book. This Bible is not a Christian book. This Bible, shall up. This Bible is not a Christian book or religious book. This is a cultural heritage of the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read that, read that. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as such, for as much as his people draw near, near me with their mouth. So, so, so they sound good. And this is what modern day Christianity has taught you. You come near to me with your mouth. Say it sounds good. You say you love Jesus. You say you love the most high God. Go on. And with their lips do honor me. So they honor with their lips. But have removed their heart far from me. What did it say? But have removed, removed their, their heart, heart far from, from me. We know that as, as Jeremiah 17 verse 9, it says the heart is desperately wicked. Your heart is not near the Most High God. Why? Because you're not keeping the commandments and faith in our Lord and Savior. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. And this is what we prefer. We prefer the traditions of men that your pastors and the Christian church will teach. We prefer that because it's sm swelling words, it's smooth words. It sounds nice. It's to the traditions of men. And this is what the wicked Pharisees were teaching other than the words of the Most High. Read that. 
Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. So we just finished reading the book of Sirach chapter 17 verse 7, showing the law is a heritage. The Negroes and Hispanics and Native Americans, we are the original Jews. Yes, yes. No one else. No. The Puerto Ricans are our northern kingdom. Of course they are. That's the tribe of Ephraim. They are our people. That's our family. That's my distant cousin. That's still my family. They don't need to look like, this is what I'm saying, there's no mole in it. There's, there's dark people like the, 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 the East Indian. They got the same color as me. Uh, they, they're darker than this brother here. Are they our people? No. So, so read that. This is Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. Yes. It says that. And thou, even thyself, shalt Does discontinue from, from thine heritage. heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve th thine enemies. So this is where we are right now. Those are times when we run things on this earth. Those are times when Negroes and Hispanics were ruling the areas of Europe, as well as going into Asia and all over the world. The Bible said, wherever the sole of our foot shall tread, we shall possess it, right? Hey. There was a time when we were ruling, but unfortunately, we did not want to follow the heritage that was given to us. We did not want to follow the law, the statutes and commandments. But most I said that we discontinued from our heritage. Hey. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Right. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 1. Now us touching things offered unto idols, yeah. we know that we have all knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up. What did it say? Knowledge, knowledge puffeth, puffeth up. up. Read that again. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. So knowledge puffed up. And this is what we have. When we're trying to bring out the words of life, words of encouragement, the words that will build up your spirit. How you doing, brother? You good? What country are you from? Right, that's the country comes from. It's done. Alright, so so what we're seeing is that people act like they know everything and knowledge puffs up. Knowledge brings pride, and we know pride comes before destruction. But let me show you the real knowledge that we should be keeping. Bring out. This is Malachi 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. What do we all say? For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. And they sh should seek the law at his mouth. So it said the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. That's what the Bible says. Who are the priests? Read. This is the book of Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. Yeah. And has made us unto our God, kings and priests. Now I made everyone. Kings, kings and priests. The, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered abroad are kings and priests. We are the royalty of the Bible. The Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the royalty and the direct descendants. When you're reading this Bible, it's black history. Oh, that's, that's what we're reading. Oh, it's called black history. What did I give you? Uh, the, that, shall I carry on with that? Yeah. This is uh, Malachi 2 and 7 again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge yeah. and they should seek the law at his mouth. Wait, 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 wait. Where do we get knowledge? And they, they should seek, seek the law, law at his mouth. mouth. No, it's in your oneself. And, and they, they should, should seek the law at his mouth. mouth. No, you need to align your chakra. And, and they should, should seek the law at his mouth. I need my penile gland stimulated. And they and should seek the law at his mouth. mouth. Out the law. The same law that the Christian church is done away with. They chop half of the Bible out and don't want you to follow but they want you to follow Jesus. That don't make no sense when Christ says he come in the volume of the book. Read that. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. Yeah. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Wait, what did the Lord say? Wisdom, wisdom and, and knowledge, knowledge shall be, be the stability of thy time. time. We're seeing knowledge from Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. We're seeing we're even going to go to wisdom. But yeah, keep reading. And strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure this is what i'm saying for you to be able to survive in these end times for you to be able to be stable emotionally physically psychologically you need to be able to have wisdom and knowledge how you doing sister you good what country you come from by the way right right cool uh god this is hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7. then said i lo i come in the volume of the book now just the new testament I come in the volume of the book. I come in the volume of the book. The whole Bible is the word of God, not just the New Testament. Read. It is written of me to do thy will, O Yahweh. And you know what the will is? Psalm chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, yea, thy law. That is the will of God. Keeping the law, keeping obedient to the culture and the custom and the heritage that the Most High intend for us. What I give you? 
Psalms. Psalms 119 and verse 142. No, 140, uh, uh, verse 44. Uh, 144, Salakia. Verse 44. Yeah. Salakia, okay. This is Psalms 119 and verse 44. Yeah. So shall I keep thy law. What do you say? So, so shall, shall I keep thy, thy law. Now just have faith in Christ. So, so shall I keep thy law. Now just do my own thing. So, so shall I keep, keep thy law. law. How long? Continually. How long? Continually. For a short period of time. Continually. Continually. When, I, when I feel okay. Continually. Continually. Forever and ever. This is what we see. Go to Baruch chapter, the classic Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. We've got to keep the law, the statutes and commandments, and faith in Hamashiach, Umelaki Awashai, forever. Read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 2. Yeah. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it. And this is what we'll see in the modern day Christian church right now, where they're adding stuff, they're adding their own doctrines, they're adding their own traditions of men, they're telling you no, that's not in context when you're reading it verbatim, you can't add or take away to the word of God. Read. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. This is what it's telling you to do. So you can be in a position to keep the commandments. What did I give you? Baruch chapter 4 verse 1 God. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High Yahweh yeah. and the Lord that endureth forever For a short period of time that Forever, forever For how long? Forever. forever This is what the Word of God is saying The Word of God endures forever You can't pick and choose where to follow it So for those that are the Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans You are the original Jews you are the children of Israel. This is the problem that Kanye West was dealing with. This is what Kyrie Irving was dealing with. The Negroes and Hispanics are the Israelites of the Bible. That's right. This is James chapter 2 and verse 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. What do you say? So, so faith without works is dead also. Now all you need is faith. So, so faith, faith without, without works is dead also. You need to be have faith. And what, have you got a preset? Come, on, you need to make sure that you have faith and works. And this is how we demonstrate. This is how we demonstrate our faith. Don't just tell me you have faith in Christ. You do it through works. Read that. It's the book of Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. What did the Lord say? For whatsoever, whatsoever things, things were written, written aforetime. aforetime. We can see that the Torah, Tanakh, the Old Testament, and the Apocrypha, even the New Testament is saying this, that whatever thing was written before time, we were written for our learning. Now, just to be able to encourage ourselves. We were written, written for our learning. learning. I just want to feel nice. We were written for our learning. learning. I need to feel blessed. We were written, written for our learning. learning. We don't need because it's just a story part. We're, we're written, written for, for our learning. learning. Christ has done away with that part of the Bible, Kapash. We're, we're written, written for, for our learning. learning. This is how we learn. This is how we learn when we go through the scriptures. When we are diligently seeking, just like how the Bereans were, where they look through the scriptures. The Bereans in the book of Acts did not have the New Testament. So all they had was the Old Testament and they were limiting the New Testament as per the books that we see in the scriptures today. Come Read on. that. This is Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. Read about. Here is the patience of the saints. Here's the patience of the saints. And the saints are those that are the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the Jews. We are the Israelites of the Bible. We Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh. Do their own thing. That keep the commandments of, of Yahweh. So this is obedience to the Most High God. Not the foolishness they teach you in church. We're coming out of the Bible. And I would like anyone to come up and say otherwise to the scriptures, the words of life that we're living by. Go on. And the faith of Yahweh shine. There you go. And that's that faith. And through that faith, we'll demonstrate it through our works. Where you go? This is 2 Timothy 3 and verse 16. Read that. All scripture is given by... No, no just, just the New Testament, bro. All, All scripture, scripture is, is given, given by inspiration of Yahweh yeah. and is profitable for doctrine. For what? Profitable, profitable for, for doctrine. doctrine. Profitable for what? Profitable, profitable for, doctrine. for doctrine. Read. For reproof, yeah. for correction, yeah. for instruction yeah. in righteousness. And this is the problem that we have amongst the Negroes. This is the problem we have with our people. We've got so-called black people that have no discipline. They don't have no structure. They're doing their own thing, but yet they're wondering why is it we're not on top? Why is it we're not running things? Why is it that our families are so fragmented? Why is it that our men don't want to step up to the plate? Hey, I see a whole lot of responsible men right now. 
I saw a whole lot of brothers that have families looking after their women, looking after their children. The black people of this land don't want to follow the scriptures so we have dysfunction in our communities. And this is why the men of the Lord are out here. We are come to remind you that you can come back to the words of the Most High God and actually rule your house in righteousness and truth and sincerity. Read that. It's the book of Revelation chapter 20 and verse 13. Read. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And, the, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their work no judged just by their faith judged every man according, according to their, their work. work so you think you're fine you think you're fine how you doing buddy you good? good what country are you from? Ghana what tribe? come here hey come here no 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 come. do you know that the Ashantis are the, actually the original Jews? do you know that the Bible is actually history because of your forefathers did you know that? Come in. Let's talk about your heritage. Don't. So you haven't got time for the words of life. You haven't got time for the words of life. You see that, sister? What's up? You alright? No, no, that's fine. What country from? Jamaica. Born in Jamaica or born over here? Alright. So, what does the word Jamaica mean? You know? You know before that, have you? It means a land of wood and water. What's the name, sis? Sorry? Say your name louder, sis. Her name is Miracle. Big hey, This is a miracle that she's coming to counter with royalty who's going to tell her that she's royalty. And you know what's so beautiful about royalty? Royalty know how to look after their body. So royalty knows that they have a temple, their body's a temple. Royalty know that if they set their body on fire, it's not good for their health. And because you want to love each other, you want to care so much that I don't want you to care. That's how I It is, it is, but guess what? You can be delivered from that. You can. That's right, that's right. So what we want to show you is that... No, we ain't got that. Okay, cool. So what we're saying is, how did our people get to Jamaica? Right. So do you believe in the Bible? Of course, I'm Roman Catholic. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. So go to Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Go, go to Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. How did you say we got back to Jamaica? By slave Alright, did, did you know that that's in the Bible? Yeah. Is it? So you know! So guess what? You're not just a Roman Catholic. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. That is good. Okay, Roman Catholic is nice. That's cool. But do you know that the people that perpetuated the Roman Catholic Church put our forefathers in slavery? Wickedness. Did you know that the Bible is not speaking about any form of religion or denomination? The Lord, hey, listen, even non-denomination is a denomination. Have you noticed that? The, not just faith as well. For example, I, I'm married. Have you got Have you got a, a man in your life? You got a husband or um, father of the church? Okay, so it's nice that he tells you that he loves you, right? It's beautiful. He demonstrates it, right? How do we demonstrate our love to the Most High God? Right. Hey, I agree with you because earlier we brought out Acts chapter 7 and verse 48. It said, God does not dwell in places brought by man's hands. God is not in a church building. That's why the Bible also says where two or three are gathered touching anything concerning him, God is in the midst. Right now, our Lord and Savior is grown in the blessing of what we're seeing right now, but through the power of the Most High, right here. This is church right now. This is beautiful right now. We're having service right now. And we're bringing out the word of life. Do you know why? Because you're royalty, royalty can't do it here. Royalty can't do it. There's a certain way how we conduct ourselves. Look how you are in a dress. Look how you are in a dress. Did you know that royalty that's how they actually dressed in the ancient world. Did you know that? Did you know our women, the Negroes and Hispanic women, did you know that they started wearing trousers in the 1950s? Relatively new. What were we doing for the past thousands of years? Yeah, no, coming out of the war. Man, you good? So this is what we're saying. The Negroes, Hispanics, and the Native Americans are the children of Israel. We have customs and a culture, not religion. All right, read it. Romans chapter 3 verse 31 Do we then make void the law through faith? So just because we have faith, that's good, right? Do we now no longer follow the law? And if you want to know what the law is, it's the first five books of the Bible, which is the Torah. The same five books that the churches say is done away with. 
That's what the Christian church teach. When the law is our heritage to the Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. Do we, just because our faith, not follow the words of the Most High God? God forbid. What do they say? God forbid. We establish the law. We, we, and that's what we're out here doing right now. We are establishing the law. So I want to I show you something, by the way. I want to show you something beautiful in the scriptures, and I want to remind you. All right, Rick, what, what did I give you? All right, so can, can I brother go to John, go to John 14 and verse 15? Uh, re, re. Sister Miracle, li listen to this. This is John 14 and verse 15. Remember what I said to you, like, it is something beautiful. Hold on, hold on, mama, I'm just encouraging her, all right? Come, come, Miracle, you, let, let them two talk, me and you could speak. Oh, yeah? praises. All right, listen to this, because remember we said that it's better shown through actions, right? So this is the actions that the Most High God intends for us to display to show that we love Him. Read that. This is John 14 and 15. Yeah. If ye love me, if you love me, this is how to show it. Keep, keep my, my commandments. commandments. Now do your own thing. Keep, keep my, my commandments. commandments. Keep my commandments. Is this your talk? How was this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. All praise to the Most High. You, you, is your mum in your life? Is your father in your life? My mom is not my dad. Okay, so, and do you know? Actually, go to that. Go to that. Go to, well, like, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Did you know that our fathers, our fathers not being in our life was actually a sign to show that we're the Jews of the Bible? Look how much of us, look how much of us don't have our fathers in our life, and it's considered as normal. That's 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 we are celebrating trauma. We're celebrating dysfunction amongst our community. It's the same thing in the Bible. It says everybody should cover their hair. You see them cover their hair. All praises to the most. Hey, you kind of keep it all already, sis. You just need to kind of know your heritage. Know that I am the actual people of the Bible. Uh, what, what, what can I give you? This is. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 54. Listen to this, remember? This is going to actually go to verse 46. Because the Bible clearly shows us the people that are the Jews, the Israelites. I want to show you how... The first black people were Jews. Hey, hey, everyone clap your hands for Sister Miracle. Oh, praise But you know what, though? It's, be it's beautiful that you know this. Hold on one second. Is your dad black? No. Yeah, uh, where's your dad from? Uh, I don't Ooh. That's a good that's a good point. So <laughs> so But the thing is I never grew up with him, so I don't know the part of him. Okay, okay, so what we what we basically show, and this is why the saying you don't know who you bump into and stuff like that. So what we actually teach is that those who are Israel from their father, though if your father is a Negro, Hispanic, or Native American, some of our people were in um some of our people were even in um Ireland as well. But if your dad is a so-called Edomite which is who we call like modern day Caucasians and stuff, then you won't be an Israelite. You, 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 what'd you say? Yeah, bring out Numbers chapter one and verse 18. This is the harsh reality of the scriptures. This is what it is. Go on. This is Numbers one and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. By the house of their fathers. By the what? By the house of their fathers. By the is matrimonial. By the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. This is what we're seeing. This is what we're seeing in the scriptures. So we know we have different mixed race people in the Bible. This confusion. Let me them talk. And a miracle I come to tell you is is your daughter's um. Father Black? Yeah. Um, what country? Angola. Angola? See that? You need, Make sure you teach your daughter that she's a children of Israel. Make sure you teach her because of the line of your father. Because remember, when the Hamites tried to cap captivate our people that was coming from Israel into mainland Africa, when they came through, the Angolans were about to be wrapped up in the, on slave ships and they managed to escape. But guess what? The Portuguese still managed to get hold of them. Why do you think the Angolans speak Portuguese? They managed to escape the slave ships, but they still went through all the curses of the, of that we see in the scriptures. So because they of that... Lost their rights. Sorry? They lost their rights. That's right. So what we want you to do... Miracle, you have a responsibility. Mir miracle, you have a responsibility that to make sure teach your daughter that she... What, what, what's her name? Sophia. So, same, daughter, same name as my daughter. Teach Sophia that she is an Israelite. 
You've got to teach her that she, her, the Bible is not just religious book. Do not teach her religion. Don't teach her that. Teach her the culture. Teach her how to wear a dress. Teach her how to cover her head, just like what you're doing. Teach her that today is the Sabbath, from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. Make sure you teach her. That's your responsibility, miracle. And if I bump into you and you're not teaching that, we're going we're gonna to fight. Already have that, hey, but the true baptism is the words that wash you. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So it's beautiful you could be baptized in water. But you want to make sure that your daughter is following the words of the Most High, right? Ah, right, read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Yeah, the Lord will what? For the mercy on Jacob. Right? And will, and will yet choose Israel. Israel. Now you'll choose everyone. And will and yet, yet choose Israel. Israel. And set them in their own land. And the strangers, so when you read about the 12 tribes of Israel, those that are the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're from their father's side, they're going to be in a position where they're ruling. Go, go to Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. Go to Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. Read that first verse again. This is Pro, um, Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. And the, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So, you know, we don't we barely own anything. Negroes and Hispanics barely own anything. Other nations own everything that we still go to for shopping. Come. We buy our hair from other people. We buy from our own people. The fact that we have to buy hair anyway. We, 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 we do shopping. We get all unnecessary things. For me to leave this country, I forgive an Edomite. I have to get Edomite permission. This is what we see in the scriptures. Right? What do you got? This is Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. Read that. When the righteous are in authority, what the Lord say? When, when the, the righteous, righteous are in authority, what the one Lord says? When, when the, the righteous, righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Yeah. But when the, the wicked, wicked bear rule, right? The people, the mourn. people mourn. This is when it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people are rejoicing. When the wicked are in authority, we see that they are mourning. Right now, the righteousness that we see is in Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25, showing that it's to the Israelites. When the children of Israel are not ruling the world because we're so dysfunctional, when we're doing foolishness, now we've got other people ruling this world. Now we've got other people that are put us in slavery. Not even just Caucasians, not even just Edomites. We've got Moabites, we've got Ishmaelites, we've got all nations that did pass in slavery. All because of our disobedience, right? One second. Go on, read that. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. Read. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What did the Lord say? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We know there's a specific set of people that run this world right now. And they're known as wicked. That's what they're known as. I didn't say that. The word of God says that. The same people that you think is going to get salvation. The world is, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And this is how you know which one they are. Just in case someone tries to say it's Esau's the Arab. Read. He covereth the faces of the judges. What did they do? He covereth the faces of the judges. So when we look through history, we can see a lot of whitewashing in history. Things, remember how everyone lost their mind. Yeah, remember how everyone lost their mind. Go to Pro Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 11. Go to Proverbs chapter 9 and verse... Uh, actually, forget that. Go to Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1. Let's read, let's read that. Because I want to bless this elder woman who seems to keep shouting unnecessarily. Read that. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse uh, 11. She is loud. She is what? She, she is, is loud. loud. What do you say? She, she is, is loud. loud. And stubborn. And what? And, and stubborn. And what? And, and stubborn. stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. So you're coming to like distract the word that we're bringing out just to be loud and expect that I'm not somehow listen to you. That doesn't make no sense. So if you learn how to kind of humble down, mama, then it will work out. We can engage. Is that all right? All right. No problem. What's up? Who covered the face of the judges? The wicked. Okay, we can show you. The, the, okay, when do you think the Arab people are whitewashing stuff? Like, oh, it's the Caucasian. Or, or, or the Bible calls them Edomites. They're whitewashing our images. Like, this is Jesus, apparently. This apparently is Jesus. When the Bible says otherwise, the Bible doesn't say Jesus looked like that. He's an austere, dark skinned man that was burnt in the furnace. Right? This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3, and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. Yeah. Where in the heathens had sought, sought to paint, paint the likeness. likeness of what did they call them? Where in the heathens had sought, sought to paint the likeness of their images. images. And this is what we're seeing. 
We're seeing that a lot of things that we own are taken away from us. We're seeing a lot of history being whitewashed. We're seeing that all we know, all we know, and this is the pro Hey, you know what? You what we might do is just have one leader to solely stay in Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 11. When mum just goes say, excuse me, excuse me, we're going to just keep that scripture on deck. Go to Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1. This is Ecclesiastes 5 and verse 1. So keep thy foot. What, what did it say? Keep thy foot. Excuse me. Keep thy foot. Read. When thou goest to the house of the Most High. So you got, in other words, just hold your peace. Hold your peace. Read. And be more ready to hear. Be what? And, and be, be more ready to hear. hear. Now just talk. And, and be, be more ready, ready to hear. hear. Than to give sacrifice of fools. So when you're just shouting and yapping, yapping like that, I don't know how you thought we're going to engage because now it just makes you look foolish, and I don't want you to look foolish. Because you want to do listen to me, that's fine. Then say what you're saying. I'm just saying that everything what black people do is being taken away, isn't it? Yes. You know, Elvis Presley. Who? Elvis Presley, the singer. Yes. He wasn't the king of rock and roll. We he know. Was Little Richard. We know. Rock we and know. roll comes from. Yeah, but food. But, but guess what's more important than rock and roll? Guess, I, I, I guess, guess what's more important than rock and roll? The words of the word most high. That's right. I hope someone has got the problem. Yeah? I will just hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Go on. So you got a preset. Hey, this is Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it out! A foolish woman is clamorous. What did it say? A, a foolish, foolish woman, woman is clamorous. clamorous. Doing up too much. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knows nothing. nothing. We don't have time to waste trying to hear random stuff. Have you got Job chapter 32 and, and chapter 32 and verse 7? Let's let's bring this out. A foolish woman is clamorous. She's simple, she knows nothing. So if anything, more than anything, you should be spending time to listen so you can get knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Read that. This is the book of Job, chapter 32 and verse 7. Read. I said, they should speak and multitude of years should teach wisdom. We should be able to see wisdom and knowledge from elders. We should be able to look up to the older generation to be able to give us knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Hypothetically, we should be able to trust that they will give us this necessary knowledge that will be conducive for us as Negroes and Hispanics. Go on. But there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty give us the understanding. Right. See that? So you don't even need to be old to be able to um, show knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Because when the Most High puts his spirit on you, he disseminates on the wisdom of the Lord, the and commandments. Read that next verse to just cut this up right now. Verse 9. Great men are not always wise. What did the Lord say? Great men are not always wise. Now you just trust it any elders. Great men are not always wise. This is why we respect our elders. The elders that we have here. We can't take counsel from any and everyone just because they're older than us and think that they can just come up and run things. No, no, go, sir. Read. This is First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence. What did the Lord say? Let the woman learn in silence. Make up nice. Let, Let the woman learn in silence. Just clap up your mouth. Let, Let the woman learn in silence. This is where it said, Let the woman rule, learn in silence. Because there's always noise. But when we have a righteous woman that wants to be able to understand the Bible and the people, sister, you alright? You good? Come, don't worry, I'm not trying to put you on the spotlight. You good? Have you got any questions, sis? What country are you from? What, Rwanda? Well, if the spirit be a witness, have you ever heard this before? So you know about the Israelites, right? We're them loud, annoying folk that only care about Negroes and Hispanics. But guess what? We are the ones that's most disenfranchised. Come. We're the ones that has experienced so much destruction wherever we are. Come. My brother's in China. And the same thing's going on in China. The same thing that's going on in, in also in the continent of Africa are people that are scattered in. The same thing that's going on in the Caribbean. Look how other nations mash up our islands. Look at how our currencies are being damaged because they're being hedged against the US dollar that is not even hedged against gold. Come. Destructive. And guess what? The Mosai is destroying this kingdom. That's the right. Mosai, hey, get, Get, get me that right. What, did I give you something? Go to Revelations chapter 18 and verse 21. What did I give you? You got a precept. Read that. All right, cool. All praise to So this is what we're out here to teach. Where are you from? Where? We've got a lot of Colombians in this area not even realizing that we are family. 
Colombians don't even know that we're family. We are family. Colombians are royalty. Colombians are part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Colombians went through the slave trade with us as Negroes. Colombians also experienced the curses that we read in Leviticus chapter 26 and Deuteronomy chapter 28. Excuse me. Uh, I read that. Proverbs 7 and 11. She is loud. She is what? She is loud. She is loud. This scripture is going to bless you every time you shout, excuse me, excuse me. Read that again because I don't know if she heard. Proverbs 7 and 11. She is loud and stubborn. What did you say? I get home with the poor to be in a club and why is that? I can, sh can I show you why? Yeah. Romans chapter 8, but did I give you something? No, yeah, yeah. whatever I give you, go to Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. I'll show you why you get on with them. Hey, what did you just say? My spirit is with them. What you just said, I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Yeah. It's the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness. Selakia. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. The spirit of the Puerto Ricans and the Colombians bear witness to the, our spirit that what? That we are the children of God. Now that everyone is. That, that we, we are, are the children, children of God. God. That's because you're connecting to people that has the same common ancestor. Yes. We are not all the same. The Bible shows 18 different nations that came out that we can see from the scriptures. Right? 18 different nations. Some people just like being able to just make noise, you know, just to say that I like they know something. But don't want to take the words of life. Right? Read that. This is Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. Read this. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone right. and cast it into the sea, yep. saying, Thus with violence. Thus with hearts. Thus, thus with, with violence. Thus with peace. Thus, thus with violence. Thus with, with light unity. Thus, thus with violence. Reach. Shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And this is what we're seeing the modern day Babylon, mystery Babylon, is going to be destroyed. This whole planet is going to be destroyed. And guess what? The 12 tribes of Israel are going to be ruling as per the words of the Most High that we read in the scriptures. Because Any right. other book than this Bible is nothing compared to the words of the Most High God. Read that. It's the book of Micah, chapter 4, and verse 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth. O daughter of Zion, this is now talking about the daughters of Zion, the children of Israel, read. Like a woman in travail, right. for now shalt thou go forth out of the city, right. and thou shalt go. So this is coming out of the city. Actually, could, could, what, did I give you something? I need to read this, because I'm going to step forward. Come step forward, go to Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Right, read that again. This is the book of Micah chapter 4 and verse 10. Do we pray and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, yep. like a woman in travail? For now shalt thou go forth out of the city. This is after um, after the siege of Jerusalem that we see, where the twelve tribes of Israel, the Negroes and Hispanics, the original Jews, were after the Roman con of the conquest of the Romans when they destroyed us and threw us. Shalom, sis. This is what we're seeing. We came out of the city. Which city is this? Read that. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, and verse 26. Yeah. But Jerusalem, which is, is above. But wait. But, but Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which is above. But Brixton. But Jerusalem, which is above. But Jamaica. But Jerusalem, which is above. But New York. But Jerusalem, which is above. Yeah. Is free. What do you say? Is it's free. free. Which is the mother of us all. What I get? Luke chapter 21 and verse 24. This is the motherland. The, this is the motherland. Right? But Jerusalem is the motherland. Nowhere else. Right? Now read that. Shalom. Read again. Yeah. It's the book of Micah chapter 4 verse 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, yeah. like a woman in travail. Yeah. For now shall thou go forth out of the city. Out of the city when we came out of Jerusalem, the motherland that, that Galatians 4 and 26, the Bible says, out of the city gone. And thou shalt dwell in the field. This is now talking about the fields when we went into mainland, the continent of Africa, read. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. What did the Lord say? And thou, thou shalt go even, even to Babylon. Babylon. And this is why we read Revelation chapter 18 verse 21. Babylon is going to be pulverized. Right. Go, what did I give you? Go to Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 11. 21 and verse 24. Oh, so like Luke 24. <laughs> and verse... Luke 24 verse 21 20 and 21 and 24. Luke 21 
and verse 24. Bring it out. And it reads, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. And this is what we experience. This is the police brutality. Just like how we see the police system is to our young men, that we see that with the pharmaceutical industry with our women. They practice all kinds of immoral surgery on our women. This is why I said we will fall by the sword. We're going to be feeling like destruction because we're going to keep the law, the statutes, and the commandments and faith in Hamashiach Omar Laki Al Shai. We. And shall be led away captive. I know, shall we? And shall be led away captive. What does the word of God say? And shall be led away captive. So the 12 tribes of Israel were led away captive. They went into slavery. We. Into all nations. No, just into a few nations. Into all nations. No, 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 no. We're just in London. Into all nations. We are the 12 tribes of Israel that scatter to the four corners of the earth. Deuteronomy 4, verse 27 says it. Ezekiel 46 and 19 says it. Isaiah 11 and 11 says it. James 1 and 1 says it. Acts 2 and 5 says it. All of these showing that we are scattered to the four corners of the earth. Hey. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Jerusalem is fine. And, and Jerusalem, Jerusalem shall, shall be trodden down. down. Jerusalem looks holy right now. And Jerusalem, Jerusalem shall, shall be trodden down. down. Right now, the people that's in Jerusalem is destroying and desecrating our homeland. Yes, and, sh and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Oh, shall be what? Shall be trodden down by of the Gentiles. Gentiles. Right. Until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And you want to know when that time is? Go to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 10. Bring now. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 5. Read. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fight of my jealousy. What did it say? Surely in the fight of my jealousy. Read. Have I spoken against the residue of the heathen? Have I spoken to who? Have against I spoken the residue of the heathen? What's left of the heathen? The residue. Read. And against all I do be up. And against now, never wait, wait. Who? Against who? And, and against, against all I do be up. And against all the Edomites. Who? Which have appointed my land into their possession. And that's who's in the land right now. They are, listen, think, watch that team. 36, go 35 and verse 5. Start from verse, that scripture. Read that. This is Isaiah 60 and verse 10. Read. And the sons of strangers shall. And the what? And, and the, the sons, sons of strangers. strangers. All them children. And shall the, build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. This is why we need all these other nations to go gym, to get some strength, make sure they eat healthy, build up their muscles, make sure that they're jogging, make sure they got good cardio, make sure that their health is on check, because they got work to do. For in my wrath I smote thee. So we experience the wrath of the Messiah as we see in Jeremiah chapter 3, because we didn't want to obey the words of the Messiah. Read. But in my favor, but what? But in, in my, my favor, favor. but, but in, in my favor, favor. Hmm? have I had mercy on thee? Right. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. How long? Continually. continually. This is gates. You need to understand what the kingdom's looking like for us to even like this is a gated community. You can't come past this area right. and think without our green light because we will run things. And that will be the time when Hamashiach Omala Kelshai destroys this place and puts us on a high. Bashem Hamashiach Kelshai. Bashem Hamashiach Kelshai. They shall not be shut day nor night. Right, go to verse 12. That metal, verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee. What did they say? For, For the, the nation, nation and kingdom that will not serve thee. What's going to happen to them? Because they think they can kind of do their own thing. Shall perish. Shall what? Shall perish. Shall live. Shall perish. They're going to survive. Shall perish. They're going to make it. Shall perish. They're going to be able to be destroyed. Shall perish. They are going to be destroyed. Right? It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5. Right. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. For how long? And the hatred, perpetual, read the right, that it had a perpetual hatred, the constant hatred of every nation that we see in 1st Maccabees chapter 2 and verse 10. What nation had not had a part in our spoil? God. All those people you see in Psalm chapter 83, actually, did I give you some? Go to Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 11. All them nations that has had us, listen, every nation, they are, they, the Lord's going to destroy all them. And the twelve tribes of Israel reign supreme by Shema Mashiach Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. Because we're constantly seeing Negroes and Hispanics being killed. Because we're constantly seeing the pharmaceutical industry setting us up to be destroyed. Because we keep getting set up even by each other. Read. 
in the time of their calamity, because they are the ones that showed that level of wickedness amongst our community, go on. In the time that their iniquity has an end, therefore, as I live, even the most high God is saying, as I live, even he is mad. Read. Say the Lord God. You know that when man them say, I swear down. You know when you say that? Go on, read. I will prepare thee unto blood. No, 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 for hogs. I will, I will prepare, prepare thee, thee unto blood. blood. For unicorns and confetti. I will, I will prepare, prepare thee, thee unto blood. blood. There is literally nothing else. Actually, go to... Uh, what, what would I give you? I right, read. And blood shall pursue thee. Because someone go to the book of Job chapters 27 and verse 12. All right, can you read it? Sith thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And look at what we see in the continent of Africa. Look at what we see in the 12 tribes of Israel that scattered abroad. Look at wherever we are, we go through oppression. We are go they're going to reap what they sow. They will sow corruption, they will reap corruption. Reap. Verse 7. Thus will I make... Thus will I make Mount Sea most desolate and cut off... And cut off it... And cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. This is why we can't mix with every other nation. This is why, and I must be nice and loud because Isaiah 58 verse 1 says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice as a trumpet. You think because this is gonna start that the word's gonna stop? Because of the wickedness that's happening to our people, they are going to be slashed in seven pieces. That's Read right. that loud. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 16. Read, read stop verse 11. All right, verse 11. Go on. For I am with thee, saith Yahweh. And this is the encouragement to the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The most I got Yahweh. That's right. Read, read. That's to right. save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations. What did the word of the Lord say? Though I make a full end of the nations. Read it one more time, Israel. Though I make a full end of all nations. All nations are going to come to an end. Jump to verse 16 and read it. Verse 16. Read. Therefore, all they that devoured thee shall be. That, everyone that devoured us, what was going to happen to them? Shall be devoured. devoured. But, and all thy adversaries. Yeah. Every one of them. Yeah. Shall go into captivity. Man, listen, no one's gonna be missing. No, hey, go to Obadiah chapter one and verse three. No one's gonna be hiding. No one's gonna think that oh, these Israelites are not gonna find us. The Lord will put the spirit on us to be able to. We all have heat sensors. We all have the spirit out. Hey, the Bible says that the Holy, the Holy Spirit will lead us to all truth, right? Brother, I know you're recording. Come, let's talk. Come, let's talk, bro. Come, let's, you're recording this. As you can see, I'm a youth worker and you don't need me right now. Hey, and we appreciate and, uh, your work. Come you. on, bro. I can you. show you my faith yeah. to And all praise to the We come to remind you that you're the 12 tribes of Israel in the Bible. You're the original people of the Bible. Right. You, the Negroes right. and Hispanics are the Israelites of the Bible, right? right? Give them a flyer. That's what we come to. This is why you as a youth worker see it firsthand where we're seeing the dysfunction of our community. Come yes. on. Like, they, they don't, and I'm not trying to endorse yeah. nothing. It's easy to be able to kill our own people. Yeah. This is prophesied in the Bible. Why? Because we don't have order and structure. What provides order and structure? The law, statutes, and the commandments. commandments. That's oh, right. The, most high, the same law that the Christian church says is done away with. Right? So that's what we want to show you. Your child your of Israel and read Deuteronomy 28 and read the scriptures properly. Right? On YouTube, you give them a fly? You give them a fly? What the flies then, man? Bro, Love for education, you, yeah? It's the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. Yeah. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. The what? And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. No, everyone's going to be a house of fire. Then the house of Jacob shall be a fire. All nations are going to be a house of fire. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau. And the house of Esau. For stubble. For what? For, For stubble. stubble. This is what we're seeing. So if we don't come back to the culture of the scriptures, we're going to just be destroyed like the heathen. Right. Read that. This is Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 46. Read that. All our enemies have opened their mouth against us. They all seem to have enough chat and want to say something and want to speak all these wild stuff. Give us be by words. All our enemies open up their mouth. That's what even Exodus 11 verse 7 is showing you that not a dog will wag his tongue. Not a dog. All these other nations are dogs and they're wagging their tongue at the children of Israel. But it's okay. We'll see what happens. Three. Fear and a snare is come up upon us. Desolation and destruction. 
Mine eye runneth down with rivers of water. Right, and this is the grief that we're seeing our people. We're seeing Negroes and Hispanics going through grief. That's what we see in Jeremiah chapter 14 where it says, it, it says, Judah mourneth. The gates there are languished. They are black unto the ground. This is the dysfunction that we're crying out for. Read. Oh, keep reading, keep reading. For the destruction of the daughter of my people, yeah. my eye twinkleth down yeah. and chaseth not yeah. without an in, in, uh, intermission till Yahweh looked down and behold from heaven. Mine eyes yeah. afflicted mine heart yeah. because of all the daughters of my city. And this is what we're seeing right now. We're seeing dysfunction in our men, in our women. This is where Negroes and Hispanics have to come together. Yeah. Read, read, read. Did I give you something? Go to Zephaniah 2 and verse 1. Right, read it. Uh, verse 52. Yeah. Mine eyes, uh, mine enemies yeah. chase me so. What did you say? My, my enemies chase, chase me so. so. I didn't see you right. Like a bird without What country, bro? Congo. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are, you, are you born in Congo? Yeah. Alright, what tribe? <laughs> and we have scoffers who don't know nothing but don't do nothing for our community, but they'll just walk up and talk foolishness. Right. When, when, when black people are coming together and uniting and coming together, we, we just want to talk foolishness rather than how can we gather together. Right. Like, it's a pleasure to me. You said what tribe? Luba. Hey, guess what? Do you know that they're the children of Israel? Do you, do you understand? Um, okay, so look what's taking place in Congo right now. Look at how it's destructive right now. Look at how the most resourceful country in the whole of Africa is being destroyed by people. Drop what you have. Go to Psalms chapter. Go to Psalms chapter 49 verse 11. I want to bless you with the scriptures, right? Because as we say all the time, the Bible is actually a history book of the Congolese. Did you know that? Probably not as, are you a Christian? You probably know as a religious book that can bless you. Yeah, then do it this way. Look on camera. The, the Bible is just like a good religious book for us as Christians. It's actually your national, nationality of people. Right. Read that. This is the book of Psalms uh -huh, uh, 49 and verse 11. Their inward pool is that their houses shall continue forever. Brother, why don't you actually come and talk to us rather than stop yeah, it? Man, it's, 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 we, we're so dysfunctional. Oh, American? Do I look like I'm American? Nah, all of this UFPK stuff is in the States. But we're not, I'm not ICPK. Daniela. Hey, we're not ICPK. You, sound, you watch some YouTube stuff and you think, you know something? Come and speak to me. Sis. So we're going to show you something, right? Daniela, 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 hold order. Read that. Read that here. Read I'll be with you. But you, no, you don't even know what we're doing. Go to, go to, um, and, and you see this? That's prophesying in the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 14. When we're encouraging each other, speaking to our people, trying to build up each other, there's always someone that wants to be a distraction and, just, and deter you, right? So read that again. This, this is Psalms 49 and verse 11. Right. Their inward thought is that the houses shall continue forever, yeah. and their dwelling places right. to all generations. Right. They call their lands after their own names. So this is what we're seeing in the scriptures. There's a set of people that's going around the world. It went around the continent of Africa, claiming different countries and calling it after their own names. And they're not even the people of that country. Right. They're taking what we have. And we right. see that constantly. The Bible shows that the 12 tribes of Israel, the original Jews of the Bible, that's going to happen to them. Did you know that? So, sister, you're not just Congolese. You're a child of Israel. Right. Did you know that? Did you know that even when we see the dysfunction amongst us men and women, right now, like you, do you see do you see so-called Caucasians actually saying um, our men ain't shit? Do you, do you see men talk like that? Do you see Arab women speak wicked about their men? No. But we, our women, speak wicked about our men, and our men treat our women with so much disrespect. Why is that? What, 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 why is that? Do you know the Bible prophesied that will happen to a specific set of people? And whoever it happens to, those are the children of Israel. Right? So, sister, you're most I willing, you're literally a Jew from the Bible because of what they're going through. Did you know this is in the same Bible that I'm sure that you read it tomorrow? You're going to go to church tomorrow, right? Yeah. Right, so what I would like for you to do is, hey, and guess what? I used to be in church as well. I love the Bible. So don't worry, I'm not a Christian, but I love the Bible. So I want to just show you something new. Right? You probably never heard this, you probably have. But it's showing that they're going to go around and take our lands. Right? Go on. It's the book of 
Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 33. Listen to this. The fruit of thy land yep. and all thy labors. What did it say? The, the fruit, fruit of thy, thy land, land and, and all, all thy, thy labors. labors. So the fruit of even the land of Congo and all the hard work that we do when we're cultivating, going in the mines, right? Read. Shall a nation which thou knowest not. So some other set of people, a nation that we don't even know, read. Eat up and thou shalt only be oppressed and like crushed that. always. Century in the 17th century, 
we ended up in Jamaica uh, in the, by airplane. Uh, by a boat, right? Slave ships, right? Hey, we agreed, all right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Go for it. Bring that. Bring, bring all right, who's Jeremiah, Jeremiah 6 and 2? This is Jeremiah okay? 6 and okay. verse 2. Bring that. It says, I have. I want to, I want to speak about Sister Abigail and our beloved mother here. Go on. Jeremiah 6 and verse 2. Three. I have likened the daughter of Zion. The 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes and the Hispanics and Native Americans, I the like of the daughters of Zion, our women, who are the standard of beauty, read, to a comely and delicate woman. No, they're ugly. To a, a comely and, and delicate, delicate woman. woman. This is the most high God's word showing that the Negro and Hispanics are comely and delicate women. Our women are so beautiful, why do you think they put them in music videos to, to be twerking? It won't make no sense for a white woman turkey. It won't make no sense for our woman. Because we're the epitome of beauty, they will use that to degrade our woman. Hey, hey, brothers up here, we are, we are, we're living in rights and we ain't got time for anyone that's degrading our woman. Right. There is no one more profound, more beautiful than the Negro and Hispanic woman. Even the Bible says right. it. Right. Right. But guess what? We dropped to our lower estate. We now thought that it's fine to be able to beef each other. We're fighting each other now. Like we're, we, we will actually expose each other for foolishness rather than being able to how can we reconcile us as a family, as a people, right? And this is how we should read the Bible, right? You, you say you got something? Ab 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 Abigail, let me show you Abigail in the Bible. This is First Samuel, chapter 26 and verse 41. Read about Abigail. And she arose and bowed herself yeah. and her face to the earth and said, behold. So Abigail understood what humility is even to kings, right? Read. Let thine handmaid be a servant to wash the feet of the servant of my Lord. And this is where, this day and age, we have these, we have our women that are learning that they shouldn't be able to serve their husband and the husband not protect and provide for their woman. So now we've got so much this, I ain't, if he ain't going to put money in my cash, I, mean, I ain't going to do nothing for my man. No, 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 we can't do that. Other nations don't do that. Right. This is the dysfunction that we see. She, you don't even need to read any further. You know, this same woman, Abigail, ended up marrying the King David that we read about in the Bible. Uh, read, read, read that, read that. Verse 42, and Abigail hasted and arose and rode on an ass yeah. and five damsels of hers. Look, 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 at, look at the type of woman that Abigail was hanging around with. Our women seem to want to hang around with foolishness and do all that. We, we need to get rid of this bad bee spirit. Right. You are not no bad bee. You are a profound princess of the most high. Right. Right. right? Read that. With five damsels. Five of, damsels. Of so of other people that is like-minded. Other people that none understands humility, submission. That right. went after her. Right. And she went after the messengers of David yep. and became his wife. And became his wife. This is how our woman can become wonderful wives. King, this David. Is, David. King David. We are kings and priests. You are princess. And we want you to find a good man, not no idiot man, not the oh, man that will treat oh, you like oh, rubbish. Yeah, One that, no, 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 road man. That way we've all been in our last time. It's boring. It's dead. You know how much funerals we've been to? We prefer to rehabilitate our people, re-establish the family structure. There's no way that you can do it other than the words of the Most High. Not Christianity. The Bible. Go to James chapter one and verse twenty-six. What did I give you? Alright. Have you got any questions? So, so basically, in the Bible, we can see that one of the signs to show who the original Jews are is that they were going to slave ships. But those are the Jews. But who went into slave ships? Another one of the signs that we see in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54 is that there's going to be baby mama drama. And that there's going to be deadbeat fathers. That's going to happen to a specific set of people who are the original Jews. Who is that happening to? In verse 16 of Deuteronomy chapter 28, it says we'll be cursed in the city, we'll be in the ghettos, the ends, the hoods, the roads. Who's that happening to? It said they're going to be cursed in the fields as well. So who was on the, who was on the sugar cane plantation, tobacco plantation, cotton plantation? But this is the, the Bible says we're the Jews. So guess what? You're not just the color of your tracks you've got. You're not a color in the crayon box. You are the children of Israel. That's right. And you're the tribe of Benjamin. And they can't bleach their hair. Yeah, and, and we I'm, and we are so valuable. Yeah. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna get on you. I want you to show you how profound Bring the most high intends. Bring it out. Right? What did I give you? James. This is James 1 and verse 26. Yeah. If any man among you seem to be religious, yeah. or Brad live not his tongue, yeah. but deceiveth his own heart. And this is the deceitfulness of modern religion. 
This man's religion is vain. What did it say? This, this man's, man's religion, religion is vain. What did the word of God say? This, this man's, man's religion, religion is vain. Sister Abigail. And sorry, what's your name? What's your name, name sister? Shay. 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 Sister Abigail, Sister Shay, we don't do a religion. That's right. We, we don't we don't we don't have time for religion. Religion is in every end, every hood, and they're still killing. Everyone is every religion right now. We are Muslims. We're in Kemi. We're in the world conscious groups. We are a nation of Islam. And we are Rastafarianism. But when have we ever tried, not Christianity, tried being an Israelite and having structure amongst our community? When have we ever done that? Why don't we, you know, you know a lot of people have a lot to say against the Bible, but they don't realize that the Bible is actually your history book. Done. I love, hey, I'm going to give my normal analogy. Sister Shay and Sister Abigail, I write a letter. I write, and in this letter, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to say, Shay and Abigail, I'm going to give you land, resources. I'm even going to give you servants. Right? Do you know we had servants? All we know is civil rights and slavery. We didn't know that we were royalty, right? I'm going to give you all this. I want to make sure you have good health. But guess what, though? Everything I'm going to bless you with, I just need you to do me one favor. This is the clause in the contract. Just obey my words. I'm, I'm your heavenly father. I don't even care about anyone else. That's what the Bible says. Actually, go to that. Amos 3 and 1. Did you know that? The most I only hear about the Negroes. We report today the Negroes and Slavics and Native Americans. Did you know that? They are known as the Israelites today. Read that. This is Amos 3 and verse 1. Read this. Hear this word. When you go to church, if next time you go to church, bring that scripture to your pastor. Oh, your bus, run for your buses. Take it. I'm going to show you this shit. Hear this word. In fact, Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Yeah. Against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt. The Negroes and Hispanics were the ones that were brought out from the land of Egypt. Kemet had us in slavery. Egyptians, Hamites had us in slavery. Not everyone has the same skin color. Is not all skin folk is kin folk. Right? Our own, so when people say our own people sold our own people, no, 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 no. It was how much that sold us, right? And read what it's saying. Saying, you only have I known. No, I love everyone. You, you only, only have, have I known. known. No, everyone could come together in church. You, you only, only have, have I known. I mean, I mean, what do we say to that? This is the most like God speaking. You only have I known. When was the last time Negroes and Hispanics were reminded how special they are? No, because we're all the same. We're all bleed red, right? Just like a dog. A dog bleeds red. Are we on the same level? So we can't just say these nice things that sound cool and attractive, but don't want to go according to the words of the Most High that says that we are royalty, a royal priesthood. He said that a peculiar people, not weird, peculiar, we're unique. No one's like us. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 15. Now listen to what Christ said. It's the book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Read. But he answered and said, Look what our Lord and Savior said. They call him Jesus in Hebrew, we call him Yahweh Shai. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, no, he's sent to save everyone. I am I'm not, not sent, sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, someone is lying. Someone is lying. Someone is saying that God loves everyone and he's coming to save everyone. That Christ, that Christ is going to come and redeem everyone. But Christ out of his own mouth is saying, I'm not sent, but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is why it's important to know who the Israelites are. Some of you don't get that. The ones that are lost. Exactly. And, and, and who, who's the lost people right now? Who don't even know? If I, ask, if I line up a whole lot of black people today, who are you? I'm African. I'm this country. I'm black. Where's the land of black? When are we going to realize there's no one more profound, more valuable, more proficient, more royal than the Negroes and Hispanics? Even in the Bible it says that, not Christianity. So when we follow the culture of the scriptures, rather than the Christian church, we'll realize that we are royalty. Well, read it. The book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. And this is the current state of our people now. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because we don't know, we think we know, we act like we know everything. But we're destroyed as, who's, right now, who's, who's destroyed as a people? Our people. But we don't have knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Yeah. I will also reject thee. So because we didn't want to retain the knowledge that the Most High God gave us in the scriptures, now he's not protecting us no more. You have children? So I have children, right? You tell the video to stop climbing up on the table. Stop climbing up on the table. I say that I'm tired. I'm, I will never get tired of this analogy. Come off the table, Sophia. Come, Sophia, stop climbing up. Get down off the table. Sophia, why can't you? Sophia, come down. I go to the marching and use the 
toilet over his book. You never why. Why you can't hear the first time? Even the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And too much of our people is experiencing destruction because they don't want to be obedient collectively as a people. Not just one people, not just one person, but collectively as a people with the word to the most high. Because we think we know it is. And that's what that's what Christianity has done to us. It's made the Bible. But well, that's your interpretation. I know, but that's your interpretation. Well, I believe it's this way. And in 2 Peter chapter 1, 2, chapter 1 and verse 20, it says no prophecy of the scripture has private interpretation. Right. So we want to understand what did the most high God mean? What did I give you? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. This Let's is, talk about equality in the Bible. This is Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art an holy people. We are holy people, in other words, we're different. We are literally the salt of the earth. Who, who's got better music than Negroes and Hispanics? Who's got better women than Negroes and Hispanics? Who can cook? Who can cook better than me? That's what I'm saying. And you get, you're not even being racist. You just know it's true. Certain things are like, mm, that's my opinion or this. But certain things are just facts. Who can dance better than our people? Right? Free. For thou art an holy people. So we're set apart. Unto the Lord thy God. Free. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. He's chosen everyone. Has He's chosen thee. He's chosen sister Shay. To be a special people. Sister Shay, you're special. I didn't say that. Because I could I might be just trying to run game when you're on your hearing something. But the most high God actually says you're special. You're not special. Read. Unto himself. Read. Above all people. Now we're all bleed red. Above all people. Now we're all equal. Above all people. Now we're all the same. Above all people. We are the world. Above all people. One humanity. Above all people. We're not dealing with equality because we are better than everyone else. And we need to be reminded by that. The only way we can come back to that position of royalty as a people is when we follow the words of the Most High God. You know that? Like today. From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, you know that it's the Sabbath, a holy time for us, a time where we can rest. We get so annoyed about how stressed we are. You know, black people, blood pressure different. Our cholesterol be, and it zoomed down, and then it go up, and it zoomed down. It's erratic, it's like a matrix. And then we're wondering why we're not healthy because we don't even want to rest. And the most high God commanded us to rest. He's saying, Look, rest. But we still want to find it any excuse. The Most High God said not to even eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. We see that in Leviticus chapter 7 all the way to even verse 11, right? This is what we're seeing. We're wondering why we're the most highest levels of heart disease. Mm. Why is it that we've got so much illnesses? Mm. Why would I eat the dustbin man of the farm? Why would I eat the cleaner of the sea? No wonder why our waters are not clean, because we're eating the cleaner. Why can't we? There's too much curry mutton to be eating pork. Mm -hmm. There is too much chicken to be eating mm -hmm. crab crabs. There's too much beef to be having lobster, mussel. Why are we doing that to ourselves? But they call, they call it a delicacy. Read that. The book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. Read that. I beseech you therefore. So, so this is why I'm trying my best to just implore you, sister. By the mercies of God, yeah. that you present your body a living sacrifice. So our body, when people say it doesn't matter, he just knows my heart. No, he actually cares about your body as well. Right. Because guess what? You don't care about your body and they take it and consume and do anything you want with your body. But when you're in, in, in foolishness or you're unwell, please pray for me, I'm going through this. That doesn't make sense. Uh, Holy, acceptable unto God. What did it say? Holy, holy acceptable, and acceptable unto, unto God. God. So we've got to be holy, we've got to be different, set apart from everyone else, and acceptable to God. Not to me, not to me, not to them man here, not to just look good for man, but to God. I'm not saying you can't look good for, for your, your own man, because not every man will look good for you, understand? But to God. Right? And guess what it says? Which is your reasonable service. This is the least you can do, sis, to show that you love the most high. And that's what we want to remind you. Remind you that today is the Sabbath. From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, keep that, use that a time to be able to encourage your spirit in the scriptures. Gather with people that are like-minded. Because we care too much for you. Someone go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. The reason why I'm so passionate, the reason why there's cameras, the reason why there's brothers standing up. When last have you seen... Have you realized now every brother's trying to jump in and talk? Because we got order. 
whoever's teaching and leading and conveying the message, we have order. You see how everything we're bringing out is out of the scriptures? Just in case you say, but that's your opinion, but that's what you think. Now I want to show you how the most high God sees you. What that call out? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. Because we know that Christ is returning. You read that? When he comes, he's not coming to say, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Stop the violence. Then let's calm down. Let's bring peace. Russia, no, don't do that. No, 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 please. You don't need to be like that. Knowing the terror of the Lord, he can see that Christ is coming back to destroy this place by fire. Right, read. We persuade men. What did it say? We, we persuade, persuade men. What did the scripture say? We, we persuade, persuade men. men. I'm trying my best to persuade you that there's a lifestyle that you can live according to the scriptures. Because we know that there's terror coming. And guess what, Sister Shay? I love you too much for you to experience that terror. So there's a lifestyle that we've got to live. You go to church? In Hebrew, that's called Yahweh Shai in the uh, Bible. Uh, this is Yahweh Shai. Right. Now, we're going to show you this because this is like a picture. We're not worshipping this image, but we're just trying to give a depiction as to what the Bible says he looked like. Because he was a dark skinned man. And guess what? He's coming with the sword. He had a long garment. He had a girdle. The ultimate wrestling champion of the planet. The leader, the, the, the captain of the Lord's host. The, the, the slayer of other nations. This is Yahweh Shai, the one that looks like you. Right, someone like him is coming back. Yeah, and he, he guess what? Already here. Hey. Probably, maybe already here. But hey, he's hey, like, clap your hands for He's not. He's, he's, he's calling yet. Maybe he's already here. He's just not. And this is what we want to show people. Right. We want to show people that we need to be able to be obedient to the Most High, but he's coming back for a particular set of people. Though. He's coming back for people that's keeping the commandments and faith in Christ, not just the Ten Commandments. For example, love your neighbor. Is that part of the Ten? No. That's not part of the Ten Commandments. <laughs> it, like, like, no, oh, wait, it said, do not hate your brother. Do not hate your brother. That's that's not in the Ten Commandments. So it shows you that there's more than the conventional ten that everyone knows about. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So there's actually 613. Now, you live in England, right? You know there's 20,000 legislations on this land. You're not in prison right now, though. So somehow, and if, if you're not sure if something's legal or not, what are you going to do? Then look it up. You're gonna ask, right? Or you might even go on gov.uk mm -hmm. to see. Guess what we brothers do? To find out if something actually is breaking law according to the 613 in the Bible. You know what brothers do? We open the Bible and see, does the Most High allow that? Does he permit that? Because royalty actually have a certain way that they must live. When I went to go and see the Queen, when I went to go and see the Queen, they sent us a letter as to how we should approach her, how we should dress, and what we should do. They told that to us. Now that's that's an Edomite. That's that's someone that's just a base level and underneath us. How much the most high God your You know, let's say Yah, the whole name is Yahweh. Right? And his son Yahweh should I? He wants us to live a certain way. I'm gonna I, guess what? I love you so much, I'm gonna show you something else. I'm going to show you something else. That right now, that's, here's another thing. Sometimes our people can't take telling. Sometimes they think we're always trying to bash each other and, and think that I'm trying to attack. I want to bring out a beautiful scripture with you. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Right? A woman shall not wear that, that which pertaineth unto a man. Can you read it? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, all these scriptures we're bringing out is a blessing. Imagine I was bringing out these beautiful scriptures in a nice skirt. To my knee, it's modest, not too tight. I got a bra on, and I'm doing this and I'm showing you the word of God. I know you're gonna look at this man, like, man. It look a bit mad, isn't it? Just like when you're going to the bathroom and you see which one, oh, that's the male toilet. I'm gonna go to the female toilet. Right, you know that, because the- The, the picture. Skirt. And there's something that men wear that women are wearing too. 
Did you know that every day was almost like a, a wedding day for our woman? They, they, they went up this year. There's modesty, and then there's just, wow, she's so beautiful. Look at the skirt that she's wearing, the dress. She, no one's telling you to look like Grandma Mabel. No, no one's telling you to look like Grandma Mabel. You don't need to look like a granny. But this is the modesty and the, form, the uniform that the most high intends. What do you do for a job? Photography. All right, so some people are doctors. Some people are even like work for the police force. Some of us work in the corporate world. I love to go to central London, to Canary Wharf, in shorts. Uh, um, you know, back home we have the, we can, the not even a dungaree, we can have the knitted, the knitted uh, string vest. I would love to go to work in a string vest and shorts. I would love to. What the, big man, big man, go home, you know what time it is. Don't you think the Most High God, as, as his children, doesn't have a set way of how we should dress? throughout our lives. So this is what I'm saying. I want to encourage you, sis. This is not me beating you up. There's something, I, you look so beautiful. Imagine how beautiful you look in a wonderful dress. Yes. 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 Uh, I, brother, look, brother's got big, hey, we're trying to grow our beard. You know the Bible says that we should, my one's patchy. Mm. It, it, like, it's not connecting. One day it will. Shane, one day my beard will connect. But in the meantime, the Bible says, as He's a badge of honor, that like lions who have a mane, you'll know them. It's saying that there's certain things that men have to do. Men have to conduct themselves. We have to look after our women. I think most of the time men like women in dresses anyway. So with that particular, that particular, one of my skirt though. Come on, is that when it was rewritten, it was just a police man. Really, you know, high. No, no, that was what Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 wasn't even anything to do with marriage. That was just how for that the most high intent for men and women to dress. Like for example, men had breeches, right? Men, men had, uh, what's the word that's in um, Daniel? Hosen. That's the German word for trousers. So it's not like trousers is a new thing, you know? This is like for thousands of years. And there's something, like even before I even came to the school of thought, I don't even follow the Bible in this way. Like, you know, you have women that go out at night, you go clubbing, they like catch a dance, they catch a wine. Beautiful, but it's just something beautiful about a woman that had a dress mm. and she wasn't covered, like she was covered up to a point where she's not revealing all her body. It, it was more like intriguing, like, wow, mm. she doesn't want to show her parts to any and everyone. I wonder what her mind is like. I wonder how valuable she is. Now, that's in the world. Imagine us in this truth being obedient to the words of the Most High God. So that's the mindset that we have. This is the mindset that men should see our women. This is how women should see our men. You're not a bad being to me. You're a wonderful woman. And don't have Zion. I can't stress that anymore. can So that's what I come to remind you. Has someone got a flyer, by the way? We both got flyers. Oh, have you seen this one I got already? I think one of your guys gave me. Yeah, no. You got one? So that, and this is what we're doing. You now, might be here already, still growing. You sure? You might be here already, still growing. I mean, he's, he's come already. Growing into what he's been prepared for. Hey, well, guess what? Spiritually, he's here with us, right? Yeah. But guess what? He's going to return one day. Yeah. He's going to return one day. I mean, not return. I would, when he returns, Revelations one and seven. He's going to crack that sky. And when he comes in, guess who he's coming for? 12 tribes in Israel, the Negroes are starting to meet America. He's coming for a specific set of people. So, yeah. so this is what we're saying. We've got yeah. Book of Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7. Read. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. So don't find any excuse or delay to be able to come back to your culture and your heritage. Not what this world calls you, but the most high God intends for you. We need to track that as a community. Read. And put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So this is why I'm imploring you the way I am. Now, you see, look at the size of that bus. If you were standing right there and that bus was, the, the brakes in the bus weren't working and it was a driver and you were standing there. Come on, 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 Come out to the road! You probably not even listen because you got headphones. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run and I'm gonna clothesline you and I'm gonna, we're gonna crash on that floor. You're gonna get mad that we landed on the floor. You're gonna be upset that your leg is grazed, you hurt your arm, and what are you, what are you doing? 
Why would you do something like that? But guess what? I saved your life. So we may come across a certain way, but the Bible says we have to be like this. Because I can't afford another example. Why would I get why would I get with a why would I get with a dog when I could be a royalty? Can. Why would I, why would um, why would I get with an animal and not get with one of our own men or own women? That's the that's the Caucasian. You love that picture. <laughs> that's what they really, they have tails. Did yeah. you know that? That's you know that's that's prevalent. Really? Mm -hmm. No, why should they make blue? This is amongst Caucasians. They tried to call us monkeys. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? So this is what I'm saying. I will never get with a. I'll never get with an Edomite or what we call a European or Caucasian. I will never get with an Arab. I'll get with my own woman. They're a bit too valuable for me to be with anyone else. Oh. You know that because Do you know that it's? Do you know that the Most High God doesn't like that? Did you know that? He doesn't like. He doesn't like it. Oh, he don't oh. lie as well. <laughs> he don't lie, but he also doesn't like when we mix like that. Did you know that? Let, let me show you, because Andrew's a good talker, so I could be lying. Go to the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 26. Go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Go to the book of... Actually, you go to Deuteronomy 7. You go to Deuteronomy chapter 20. No, Leviticus 20 and 26. You go to... Deuteronomy 7 and 3. You go to Tobit 4 and 12. This is the book of Deuteronomy 7 and verse 3. Listen to this. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. What did the, what did the Most High God say? Neither, Neither shall, shall they make marriages with them. Don't marry them. Thy okay. daughter thou shalt not give unto his and son. Guess, and guess what? Our women have been through so much trauma by our own men. I need to try something different because, you know, all my people have had to do this to me all my life. They've been doing this all my life. That's not an excuse to go and be with a dog. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. None of our people are going to marry them. Alright, read, read, read what you got. Leviticus. Read loud. Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 26. Listen to this. And ye shall be holy unto me. Yeah. For I, the Lord, am holy. Yeah. And have severed you. And what? And have, have severed, severed you. you. What did the word say? And, and have, have severed, severed you. I've severed you. I've cut you. I've cut you off from everyone else. You are not the same. From other people, from other people, that ye should be mine. That he, this, he, he owns possessive. Like, we belong to the most. So why would I get into other people? Now read that. The book of Tobit, chapter four, and verse twelve. Yeah. Beware of all hoarder, my son. If I get with someone else, that's me being a whore. That's hoarder. That's disgusting. Read. And chiefly take a wife. What did it say? And chiefly take a wife. Wait, and chiefly take a wife. Make it a priority to take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. Of the what? Of the seed of thy fathers. I can be with anyone I want. Of the seed of thy fathers. The other nations are beautiful as well. Of the seed of thy fathers. Love is, you can't help who you fall in love with. No, you can't don't fall in love. You better stand in love. Where you going? You better stand firm in love. You Let's fall in love. You hurt yourself. Come. Come. <laughs> And take not a strange woman to wife. Wait, wait, what is it? And take not a strange woman to wife. All these strange animals out here. No. As the Bible calls them, the beasts of the field. What is your priest? I can't afford to be with these women when I can be with someone that's on my own. Priest. Which is not of that father's child. Yeah. For we are the children of the prophets. Because we're different. I'm sorry, we are royalty, we're prophets. So that's what, that's what we encourage. So, so this is this is what we teach. This is literally what we teach, right? So we want to make sure we have order in our household, order in our mind, order in our in our spirit as well. And this is how we approach the Bible. Now, did I say anything else? Only oh, complete. Well, it's a lot. I know I said a lot, but. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think, no, do you know what it is? When our people are not used to having their engagements on different schools of thought 
I'm feeling that you always have to be offended or I'm forcing you to believe what I believe. I don't force you, I'm going to try to convince you and I'm going to show you our strong reasoning. But you know, Negroes and Hispanics have this habit of being so dysfunctional, we can't even have a conversation. Even as disagreements. Even if it's something that may sound too crazy, I'm not going to undermine you. I just want to show you there's nothing better than your heritage than scriptures. So if you have anything against scriptures or you have any questions, I know that we like, we said, we said almost everything anyway. That's right. So, What's that? That's on First Corinthians, isn't it? Yeah. We set this for everything. God, God, you might as well ask. You know what? I've got a few things still, but um, I don't know. I'll, go on, try me and I'll show you. Doesn't 
mean that it's just about you. This is the problem. We become so selfish. Banyamian. But guess what? If we can consolidate on one thing, the stuff the way there's no private interpretation, the word of God, it actually covers everything, you know. It even teaches us how to handle disputes. It even teaches us economics. Did you know that? Come. We've tried so many different schools of thought. Is it working? Yeah. Um. Thank you. Thank you. We've tried so many different ways, but unfortunately, it's not going to work. So this is why there's nothing better than actually coming back to the words of the Most High God, the way that the Most High God intended, rather than what we think is good. Because there's only one goal. There's only one goal. Can I show you the one goal that we're trying to go? Yeah. All right. Get me Isaiah chapter 14 and verse one. Get me the book of Revelations chapter two. And verse 26. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 26. Bring that out, big man. And he that overcometh. What did the Lord say? And, and he, he that overcometh. Read it again. And, and he, he that overcometh. Read. And keep it my works so this, unto the end. So keep my works unto the end. That means keep the, be obedient to the Lord and such some commandments. Read. To give to him I will I give. Power over the nation. What 
actually give? If the power over the nations. So when we come together consolidated in one form of morality that we can all unite on and go according to how we deal with our community, he said he will give us power over the nations. Keep reading, big man. What did he say? And he shall rule over them with a rod of iron. With a rod of iron. So we'll be ruling things properly with strength and authority. Read. When, when we are ruling, it will break every other nation down to humble down to how we should be living. Right? Um, we're going to give you another scripture. So our aim, our, our aim is to rule this planet. Our aim is to, when Christ returns, be in a position where we can actually rule and reign according to righteousness. Because in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be keeping these laws, that's the commandments. Read that. This is in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 14, verse 1. Bring that out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Go on. And will yet choose Israel. Who's the most high God choosing? And will yet, yet choose, choose Israel. Read. And set them in their, in their own, own land. land. So we're going to own the land. And guess what? It said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So the whole planet will be owned by us. Read it. And the strangers. And the what? And, and the, the strangers, strangers. All these other nations. Shall be joined with them. So they're going to come and join them with us. And they shall cleave. To the house of Jacob. Oh, because they realize we run things, they're gonna try and you know be humble because it's like, oh goodness, these are the people that run the planet now. Read. And the people shall take them. Now we're gonna arch them. Shall so take, take them. them. Read. And bring them to their place. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them yep. in the land of the Lord yep. for servants and handmaids. We're gonna, they're gonna be our servants. That's our aim. That's every brother's aim is to be able to be obedient to the Most High God, have faith in Christ, so that when Christ returns, He's going to give us this planet. We're going to destroy those that are running things here, and then guess what? They'll be serving us, and we'll know what world peace is. Come. Come. The Bible in Revelation said there'll be no more tears, there'll be no more sickness, there'll be like real peace. Come. Think of the trauma that we go through as a community. Real peace is. Once we unite on that standpoint. That's our whole aim, to run the planet. And that's a lot. And I'm sure you've got a lot more questions. So we can definitely catch up. Definitely. Yeah? So, yeah. it's a pleasure to meet you though, yeah? Sister, Sister Shadow One, Sister Shay. Come on, 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 come on,